I'm finally live. So anyhow, I know a lot of people aren't even in here, um, and that's totally cool. But um, I've been trying to get a live stream going for the past, I don't know, week and a half. For some reason, in the backyard, I can't get it to work anymore. I don't know. So more than likely, when I go back outside, it's not going to work. But um, the chicken coop is done, and um, it's been done for a while. I mean, I know I'm behind on my videos and stuff and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, the point is chicken coop is done. And it took me literally a week to feel better. I was so sore. I didn't know what to do. Everything hurt. You know, even the my facial hair hurt. I was in so much pain after I got done moving wood, cutting it putting stuff up and of course noelle had to work with zeta strap to her it just sucked so we were both in pain for a while i think even noelle took a day off because it just sucked but anyway i'm going to try to take this outside so you guys can see the chickens um i mean it may die on me in terms of the uh uh the what's his face the um connection so anyhow let me put my shoes on and we didn't finish the roof completely yet. My kids are next door. So if you hear a bunch of screaming kids, that's why. So let me flip it around. So here it is. This is the chicken coop. It's pretty big. So it's gonna be hard to hear me because the kids are so loud, but we don't have any sort of roofing material on top. So it's just the plywood. And um, so basically, uh, right now I just have the tarp over them to keep the rain down. But here's the chickens. If you see newspapers because of their um, little coop on the inside, they basically knock it around. This section here is where they will lay eggs and where they live and that type of thing. All of this down below is kind of where they roam and play. And here's some leaves and grass and corn and everything. And then over here is how we actually access and get inside of the coop. So I'm going to take you back inside because the kids are way too loud. The kids are just nuts. Crazy. Oh, let me show you the uh, garden. So... Here's the thing. No, you're really not. They just know how loud and crazy you kids are. Hi! How you doing? you can see. So, the crazy kids. And then over here, Noe's got some mint going, which is pretty cool. Right here. I know the connection's bad. And then right in through here, tomatoes, peppers, peas, beans of all sorts, uh, cantaloupe. So anyhow, kids are nuts. Anyhow, sorry about that. I have to get back in because for one, they were just loud and nutty. Uh, but for two, just wanted to show you guys the chicken coop. It is complete mostly. Um, eventually I'll get around to putting some roofing stuff on top of it and all of that. Uh, but for now, that's going to be pretty much it. <sighs> I'm so glad it is uh, Friday. I was going to actually fire up the fire pit. Oh, let me show you something else too. Uh, this is out on the front because there's no kids, so you don't have to really worry about all the loud craziness that they do. Unless they roam around, but... I'm actually proud of this guy. So this is a uh, Dellis Burma Cooperini. And so I planted that and it was actually just that big and now it's actually like went crazy. Uh, it only took it, what was it? Like literally a couple of weeks and it's actually went all over the place. So that's what we've been up to uh, here is just Oh God, here they come, the kids. Uh, so that's really what uh, we've been up to. It's just basically doing our thing. How long do chickens live? Um, it depends on how well you take care of them. Uh, when I had 
chickens as a kid. They lived for a very long time. Uh, I'm going to say probably, what, at least five years, I guess, we had chickens. So they last for a pretty pretty good time a pretty good amount of time um i got you here because my arm is tired i'll put you here there we go yeah that's better so anyway um they can live for quite a while that's got a weird glare look at that anyway um it depends on what you feed them so we've been really purposefully trying to feed them organic food it's really expensive uh, but of course, you know, we've had the same bag for a while, um, but they can eat a lot. Um, so we're really and truly trying to make sure that they get the right amount of uh, food and then supplemental things like worms and different things like that. So uh, hopefully it'll pay off for us, obviously, uh, when it's time for them to lay. Um, it's going to be a bit before they are able to actually start laying, but... Uh, the neighbor, which you saw her daughter, uh, she has, I think, eight chickens over there. So they have an overflow of eggs. So they give us eggs all the time anyway. So um, we're not really hurting right now as far as that goes. But once we start actually uh, getting eggs, they should lay at least a couple of eggs a day. Um, I think they lay eggs every 23 hours or something like that. I don't know. Do they crow? No, you cannot have a rooster in the city limits, um, so it's illegal. Some of the places you go to, they will sell you, and I forget what they call it, but they will basically sell, I'll go this way, there we go. Uh, basically, they will sell you an unknown, um, you know, basically unknowns. So you could have four chickens and three of them are hens and one may be a rooster. If that's the case, you have to get rid of the rooster because you cannot have a rooster in the city. Where we went, they basically sexed all of the birds, so we were able to ensure that we have nothing but hens. Uh, you can have as many as eight or six. I don't know. I think eight. Uh, you can have eight chickens and you're totally fine. You can have also uh, ducks if you want. <clears throat> Some people are, you know, they love duck eggs. I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, you can also have, I forget something else. But yeah, so you can have them, but they cannot make too much noise. And they also have to be a certain distance away from your neighbor. Uh, and it's really not major because the yards here in Tacoma are bigger than they are in Seattle typically. But you're not going to have like a big old huge yard. I mean, unless you, you ball it. But typically, you're not going to have a massive, massive yard, or at least where you're so far away from your neighbor. So the ordinance basically says as long as your chicken coop is 15 feet away from a living, habitable structure, then you're fine. So um, that's really all the requirements. No rooster, and make sure that you have a structure that is far enough away from your neighbors to where it doesn't cause a problem. Uh, the problem with chickens, obviously, is, you know, they, they do make noise. I mean, it's not, it's not crazy, but they do make noise. They do have a little bit of a smell, but it's not something that knocks your head off. Um, so that's one of the reasons why. But anyhow, um, this weekend, actually, it's been a few days. The world's largest duck is actually in speaking of ducks is actually in tacoma so we have the festival of sails which all of these sailboats and i guess they're, they're ships basically they're not sailboats they're ships uh actually come here so um it's a festival it happens every single year if i'm not too tired i might go down there uh and actually shoot some video uh, but yeah, it's basically pretty cool. It's something that happens here every single year and all of these different types of ships come in and you're able to go onto those ships and take a look. They are all in the harbor down here in Tacoma and just what was it yesterday? I believe it was yesterday or the day before uh, the big rubber duck was actually towed into the harbor. So it's pretty cool. And when I say it's big, it's massive. I mean, it's massive. 
Uh, Noel took a picture of it today um, and you can see it between the bridge and you can, I mean, it's just huge. It's like a small building. But anyhow, if I'm not too tired, and if I think about it, we'll probably go, unless Noelle has me doing something. Typically, she wants to expand the garden. We've expanded it like three or four times. So she'll, you know, get a wild hair and want me to expand something. And then it throws everything off. But if I'm not actually out there digging in the dirt, I probably will go and um, film. I still want to also do video on the Proctor neighborhood um, in Tacoma. Uh, Proctor is more so on the, what is it, north, south, is that east or west? It's more of the western side of, um, Tacoma, southwest, I believe. And, um, it is a really nice, uh, community, really nice neighborhood. Uh, I probably would just do a walking tour of, uh, the Proctor neighborhood. Don't know when I'm going to do that, but relatively soon. Uh, some folks have been asking to do more videos of the city, like what's it like and, you know, just doing a tour of Tacoma. I don't know how much of that I can actually do because, I mean, Tacoma is not like a little tiny town. It's, you know, it's pretty spread out. Um, but I will definitely hit up some of these kind of key places, do a walking tour of Hilltop, um, the notorious Hilltop, um, that type of thing. Um, and then finally, what was I going to say? There was something else. It was on the tip of my tongue. Uh um, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, Noelle's going to get some food, bring it home. We're just having a chill night. We're watching um, a show on TV that we really love. So anyhow, I probably will end up falling asleep soon because I'm just wiped out. It's been a long week. Hope you guys are having a better week uh, and even a better weekend. I think I will too. Probably have a couple of beers or two. And let that be that. These kids are driving me nuts. And until next time, folks, I will see you. Take care.